Are your landing pages struggling? Well, look no further for in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know about building a perfect landing page for your Google Ads account and actually seeing some returns on ad spend. Landing pages can be amazing and they can also be rather hectic and complicated. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know about building the perfect landing page. I'm gonna show you the results we've achieved, the principles that are important to make sure your landing page is actually successful. And then I'm gonna go over some good and bad examples so you can see what works in Google Ads and what doesn't work in Google Ads. Now, I first wanted to introduce myself. My name is Matt. I'm the owner and operator of Trisman Digital Marketing. We're a Google ads agency that focuses on lead generation and we use landing pages literally every day. So we've been using them for the past five years. I love landing pages and they can literally take your account from failing to succeeding overnight. And I wanted to first get into what is a landing page in the first place. And landing pages are very, very simple. And here's a great example by Unbounce. And they show you essentially, this is a website on the left side of the screen. And this is a landing page on the right side of the screen. The first thing you're going to notice is the website is quite complicated. There's a lot of buttons. There's a lot of stuff going on with the landing page. There's only one thing going on. They want you to order this bike. Now that's it. That's the entire process. Now you may be wondering what is the difference? Doesn't more options mean more success and in paid traffic, especially in Google ads where you're spending a lot of money, this is actually the opposite effect. If you give the end customer too many options, they're going to build up a thing called cognitive load in their brain. They're going to get confused and they're going to leave. We can tell this by the actual conversion rates of a website compared to a landing page. Now you can look up online. There's a whole bunch of different stats on websites versus landing pages, but I like to go by websites normally convert anywhere from zero to 10%. Landing pages convert anywhere from 20 to 40%. I've seen higher as well, but this is something that can take your Google ads campaign, especially if you're converting at 5% and then switching over to a landing page and converting at 25%, you can literally five times the amount of leads overnight. It's unreal. And this is all done by just creating a simple one page website called a landing page. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. They're super awesome. And honestly, there's not much of a downside other than you have to take the time to actually make them. But again, they're pretty simple. And I'm going to go over the core principles you need to follow in order to have a successful one. Now, first off, I did want to show you the results we've achieved. So you guys know that they work. And I'm going to run through essentially all the different years we've been running landing pages. One of our first campaigns is back in 2021. This is one of our earlier campaigns. As you can see here, we achieved a 26% conversion rate. This is another campaign in 2022. We achieved a 21% conversion rate. Uh, the next company, I believe this was in 2023, we achieved a 34% conversion rate. And now in today's metric, November 1st to 30th, 2024, you can see that we have a 22% conversion rate in this account. And this is just a good example that landing pages last, they're not going anywhere. They're super simple. Google likes them. The end customer likes them because they're simple. They don't have to think a lot and everything is just kept easy for the end customer. A lot of people will use their website because they're just too lazy. They don't want to build out a landing page, but the actual percentage change and the substantial more amount of leads you're going to get is definitely worth creating a simple landing page. Now I want to go over some of the actual principles here before we get into the good and bad examples. All right. The first principle I want to go over is keeping your hero section clear and concise. What a lot of people do is they have just a gazillion options that the user can click on right off the bat that overwhelms people and they leave. No one likes that. With a landing page, what you're going to want to do is keep things as simple as possible and follow a three step formula, which I'm about to lay out. Firstly, identify the problem the customer has. Second, give reasons to buy. And thirdly, end with a call to action. What do you want them to do? So I'm going to go through all three of them right off the bat. Identify the problem. It's just repeating whatever the customer typed in. So for example, if they went on to Google search, they typed in pool installation, they clicked on a local pool installation ad that is yours. They go to a landing page that then says local pool installation experts or looking for local pool installation. And the person goes, Hey, I'm looking for local pool installation. It's like this person read my mind. It directed me exactly where I wanted to be. It's a website that is built for me. This is great because people are like, yep, this is the exact problem I have. The second thing is the person's now on this website. Why should I go with you? Because there's a gazillion websites. We have to give reasons to buy. And this again, sounds really complicated. It's not normally you're just going to list some of the benefits of working with you. Maybe it's 30 year guarantee for pool installation. Maybe it's 24 seven service. Maybe it's award winning pools, whatever is important to the client. You're going to want to list here. And then thirdly, once the customer goes through this list and they go, yeah, you're pretty good. I might consider actually calling you or filling out a lead form submission or actually just purchasing on the website. How do I do that? 
you want to leave with an actual clear call to action. And as you can see on this actual landing page here, we have a simple and easy to use form submission. This is easy. There's not a ton of complication here. Fill out your first name, last name, pet name, email, send it off. Done. You could also have the business phone number on here as well. I like having both for lead generation companies as it gives people the option to call if they're in a rush or fill out an email form submission. Honestly, it's just nice to have both, but I wouldn't go above that. You don't want to have four, five, six, seven calls to action because then it becomes overwhelming and I don't know which one to pick. For e-commerce, you're going to want to have a one click button for this example. It does a great job. Start my free trial now. Simple, easy to understand. It's not overly complicated and the person knows exactly what they're getting. The second lesson I want to talk about is actually having a clear and strong call to action. As you can see here, start my free, free trial. That makes sense. Everyone understands that. What a lot of companies will do, they'll just have a submit now button or just submit. That's not enough. It doesn't tell the customer what happens next. Once they click this button, they give you their information. What happens if it's a phone number? Maybe it's get a free quote. Now that's a nice button to have. If it's the actual e-commerce, it could be buy now or add to cart. So the person knows what's happening, but you don't want to just have a plain call to action. That's not enough. You want to make it stand out and you want the person to know exactly what happens next. Are they getting a free assessment? Are they getting a free quote? Are you coming out to look at their problem with their HVAC or plumbing problem? All of this stuff is very important and I know it's a small detail, but most people miss it and you need to have a clear and strong call to action. The next lesson I wanna talk about is having relevant information on the actual landing page. A lot of people will just send their actual customers or pay traffic to a general website and yeah, sometimes it has a little bit of information on what they're looking for, but it's not designed for them. You wanna make sure the experience is completely designed for that user. If they're looking for fiberglass pool installation, you want the actual landing page to be very relevant to that. The reason for this is you're going to see a massive increase in landing page experience in Google ads. This is going to lower your cost per click and further allow you to get more leads, more sales, which is awesome for you. How do we do all that? Honestly, it's not that complicated. You go through your landing page and imagine if you were looking for, you know, fencing installation. You want it to talk about all the things that this fencing company does. You want to have social proof. You want to make sure that the person understands what your services are. Is it installation or is it repair? Do you do both? What is the actual service you offer? And of course, don't put this like right at the very top. This could be later on. And then the actual process that they're going to go through. Maybe it's defining their goals. Maybe they have to plan the actual fence installation or the pool installation. And then it gives the user an idea in their mind of what to expect. All of this plays a massive role in Google ads and actually boosting quality score. I know some people are like, ah, it's not a big deal. It's a massive deal in actually helping with the landing page experience, which will help lower your cost per click overall and generate a whole bunch more success in Google ads. The next thing I want to talk about is actually making sure your landing page is built for mobile optimization and making sure it loads quickly. Normally, most websites will load quickly on a desktop. However, sometimes they don't load quickly on a mobile device, which is horrible, especially if the majority of your clients are trying to call you and they're just looking for a quick plumbing service where the majority of the traffic is going to be mobile as opposed to the actual desktop version. So you need to make sure this loads quickly. One of the easiest ways to check whether or not your site is loading quickly is just by simply going on to a website called pagebeat.web.dov. It's made by Google and it shows you exactly how quickly your website loads and what the issues are and how you can improve it. If this is above 80, normally it's completely fine. If it's below 80 and it's down in like the 50s or the 20s, you have a problem and people don't like to wait around. They're impatient and they want their problems solved. As you can see here in the test, it didn't give us a very good performance test on this website. And this person would actually have to make their website a little bit quicker and actually reduce the load time. Because if your load time is above three seconds, you're going to notice a substantial drop off in the amount of people on your website because they're just not going to wait around. They're going to leave and you're going to waste a lot of money. If we go to the desktop version, this isn't that great as well. And this should be improved as well. Now, if we're checking out the actual mobile version of this, uh, you can use a nice website called mobileviewer.io. If you want, you can use whatever you want, honestly, as long as it shows you the mobile version of a website. If we hit get mobile, this pops up what our website looks like on a mobile device. So as you can see, this is clean, clear, easy to read, no problems whatsoever. It's really, really well designed for mobile layout. If your website or landing page is not designed for mobile layout, you will know. 
It will, the words will be written off the screen or will be crunched up. It won't look good. Uh, if you use a landing page builder of any sort, for the most part, it automatically does this and it normally optimizes for page load speed as well. So you don't have to worry about that. We here at Tradesman Digital Marketing use a website called Landingly. It's absolutely awesome. I love it. And a whole bunch of other companies like it as well. It's cheap, it's affordable, it's reliable. And honestly, I can't recommend it enough for people who are new to landing pages. Honestly, they're awesome. But if you wanted to use some other type of landing page service, by all means, go right ahead. This is just our personal preference. As long as you're using some sort of landing page, that's the important part. By the way, all the links for the page speed, mobile view, and the landing lead software we use will be all down below if you want to check them out. The final thing I want to talk about is social proof, which is a massive game changer in terms of conversion rates because people will trust you more and they're going to be more likely to give you their information, which is a big deal for a lot of people. And how does that look? Normally, I love to actually have the Google reviews on the website or landing page if we can have them so they look as real as possible and people can see other people's faces. Sometimes if that's not possible, we can do what they've done here on this website where they have the fit picture, they have the position and then the actual review as well. This does a great job of actually signaling to the end customer, hey, there are people who enjoyed this process and they found it useful and you can too. We're actually able to solve your problem. And especially if you can show the images of the before and after of what you were able to accomplish, that's going to be a massive trust builder and show the person that you're actually competent and able to solve their problem, which is what they're going for overall. Now, I wanna show you some amazing landing pages as well as some not so amazing landing pages and really show you the good versus the bad. So let's start off with one of my favorite landing pages ever and one of my favorite services ever, Netflix. I love Netflix and their landing page is awesome. It's simple, it's easy to read, there's no mental stress, it's just fantastically built. And as you can see here, unlimited movies, TV shows, and more, that's what they offer. It starts at $5.99 a month, so the person knows exactly what they're getting, cancel anytime, which clearly is probably a big problem for a lot of people, they don't wanna be tied in. That's a feature and benefit, by the way. And then ready to watch, enter your email to create or restart your membership. You enter your email and you get started. Simple, easy to understand. Now, some people will say, but Matt, that's just too simple. And of course they have all of the actual movies and stuff below here that you can see that you can actually watch. But Matt, this is too simple. It wouldn't work. We have a landing page that converts at a very, very high rate. This is essentially our free optimization checklist that you can get if you'd like. I'll leave the link for that down below on how to optimize your own Google Ads campaigns. But the actual conversion right here is 62.54% on this landing page, which is just super simple, but it gives the person what they want, which is the optimization checklist. As long as it does what the person wants it to, you can do pretty much anything you want. And like you see here, Netflix's landing page is very simple, but it's easy to understand. There's not, not a lot of buttons. It's not confusing. It doesn't build up a ton of cognitive load in your brain. You get exactly what you want. Netflix immediately identifies the problem on limited movies. This is what people are looking for. What are the features? and benefits. It's $5.99 a month. There's unlimited movies, TV shows, and more, and you can cancel at any time. That's the features and benefits. How do I get started? What's the call to action? Email address, get started. Simple, easy to understand. And I'm going to show you another version of this, which is Honestly, this is one of my favorite landing pages I was able to find online. Uh, it doesn't load quickly, which is a problem, but everything else is picture perfect in my opinion. This is essentially a landing page that is lead generation. So it's not online sales like you saw with Netflix. This is actually selling a service. And what you can see here is a super clear call to action, supercharge your conversion rates and increase sales, which is essentially what we're doing in this video. How do we increase the actual conversion rate of our landing page? We design, manage, and optimize your landing pages to boost signups, lead captures, and customer conversions. That's perfect. Features and benefits done. Where do I sign up? Get my free consult right now. We click on this. We enter in the actual lead form. Perfect. Done. You could also put an actual phone number here if you were some type of pool service or something like that. But honestly, I think this works quite well. And honestly, for some companies, you'll want the form submission over a phone call just because there's a lot of actual stuff that needs to be filled out and you need to make sure this person is qualified. That's probably one of the reasons they're using this. And this is simple, easy to understand. And yes, I want help now. Easy peasy. It does everything right. This is easy to read. It's calm. It's not overly complicated. We have a little bit of an actual title here that you can use to just guide your process. Above, we have a little menu here that allows us to actually go around the website. It's super simple. 
As you can see, our services, this is what we offer, our process, it shows you exactly what you're gonna get out of this. A-B testing, as you can see, before and after, which is essentially what I've been saying the whole time. And if you can show that, it will help substantially boost your conversion rates with building trust with the actual end customer. Get my free consult. This is a little bit more about their services and what the company does. It's always nice to have like a little section about the actual company. This is going further into how they help with the actual ads, which is great testimonials, fantastic companies that use them. Perfect. That's again, social proof. If you can add the actual companies you've worked with case studies or testimonials, all is fantastic here. Boost sales, just more features and benefits. And moving forward, we have an end call to action, which is get my free consult. Honestly, very, very well done website. Okay. And now I want to show you some of the bad and this is linkscars.com. It is overly complicated and I think it allows you to visualize perfectly what I mean by just too much going on and there's no clear call to action. It's not simple. And if you were running paid ads to this, you would do terribly. I think this is just kind of a gimmick. That's why they get some sales. And honestly, hey, good for them. If you can do a different spin on the actual website and make some money off of it because people know you're kind of crazy or whatever. Perfect. That's all great. But if you were running paid ads to this, I would bet 10 out of 10 times you're going to be losing some money. So I would highly, highly recommend not doing anything on this website if you're doing some sort of landing page. Of course, a website's a little different, but I think this does an amazing job highlighting just everything that is wrong. There's no clear call to action. There's no real identifying the uh, problem. Even the, uh, uh, you know what, I'll give them that. The UK's craziest car leasing website, they got there. Uh, if that is the problem you're looking to solve, you want the craziest car leasing website, by all means, go with Ling's Cars. Uh, but I think having a nice clear call to action, if you were doing some type of car leasing website, looking for a car lease, here are the features and benefits. Maybe it's, you know, X percentage for your actual lease, get a quote now, that would be perfect. You don't need all this overcomplication. You don't need movement. You want it calm, tranquil. You don't want explosive and overwhelming the person. And here's another example of a lead generation company, which is Boonstra Heating and Air. Honestly, not the worst landing page I've ever seen, but one of the things that immediately pops out is there are a lot of buttons on here. We wanna keep buttons to a minimum because we're going to build up cognitive load, as you all know, at this point. And the calls to action, book online, call today, view all offers, connect, call, email, book online, call us today. Which one? And I've seen websites online, specifically HVAC, where they'll have three or four different emergency numbers. And it's like, which, which one do I call? Like, why do you have five different emergency numbers? Like, it's it's ridiculous. You don't need that. And I think if Boonstra just got rid of this, this, and this, and just had two buttons, you don't even need this here. You could just have book online now or call now. That would be perfect. And then list the features and benefits. That's all you would need. And this landing page would have a substantially higher conversion rate because it's simple and easy for the customer to use. The last example here is a landing page of standard operating procedures. I'm thinking is what they're selling here. It's kind of difficult to read as it's, it's an old example, but this is just a great idea of making sure everything is clear and easy to understand. This is overly complicated. There's just too many words. It's not easy for the actual person to scan through and see what they're looking for. Uh, revolutionize marketing for a new breed of customer. Uh, sure, but there's not a lot of meaning behind that. Does that actually identify the customer's problem? I don't know, uh, but there's a lot of things this landing page could do differently. And hopefully from the lessons you've already learned, you yourself can actually improve upon this landing page. Now, if you want to actually build a landing page from scratch, I have a complete tutorial on how to do that. I'll link it up above. We also have a course as well. If you want to actually get our landing page, pages and download them directly just so it's a little easier, but either way works. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will do my best to answer it. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care and I wish you all well.